Welcome to another Camel Cast Lost episode. This was recorded on the 26th of April. There will be no episode this week, but the camels got a few good conversations out. In this episode, the camels talk about their exploits in tabletop gaming and why they don't anymore. More accurately, they gripe about the piles of money they set on fire, trapped in a purgatory of recognizing the problem and being powerless to stop it. Expect a few lost episodes this week and enjoy the audio. Listen, some people have crack, other people cigarettes, some people are alcoholics, I'm a dota holic. This is the same excuse we make every time we start buying this dumb shit where it's like, oh, we could be on smack. Oh, it's just, I'm just addicted to cardboard or 40K models, or it could be I so mean, much worse. We could just not do it. We could just I mean, it's true, though. <laughs> you know how much okay. money we would have if we never got into any of those things? Dude, every time I turn my head to the right, I stare at, like, easily $2,000 worth of shit I didn't need to buy. Yeah. I only have about, probably about $600 worth of 40 k And I don't even, like, no, I don't turn my head to the right and see a TV and Xbox and a place, and like, a computer and regret those purchases. I turn my head to the right and I see a closet full of plastic men. Isn't and those are the purchases I Hang regret. On, aren't the Eldar at least somewhat female, some of them? Sorry. Sorry, I see a I see a multi gendered closet full of plastic people. Mm. <laughs> Mine are all men. Plastics of color. Mine are all men. Mine were also all men. God, everywhere around me is a monument to my sins. <laughs> yeah. A monument. <laughs> my entire room is a monument to my sins. <laughs> the only the only place where I get close to that anymore, uh is all of my goddamn Gundam models, dude. I have so many, and I haven't put, like, half of them together. They're just sitting there together, mocking me forever. And I think, um, I think my major mistake was buying the ones I wanted. Um, so, so all of them? No, 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 no. Here, so here's the thing. So you don't want to buy one you don't like, because why would okay. you buy it? But you buy the one you like, and then you think... I have to cut these out. I have to put these together. What if I fuck it up? And that is a reason why most of those are unassembled, is that... You're worried uh, about fucking them up. Yeah, because I've, I've cut some chunks out. Like I've, I've assembled a couple of them, uh, mostly my Armored Core ones, uh, because they were significantly cheaper, because no one cares about Armored Core. Um, and and yeah, there's there's some gouges... And uh, some things I'm not proud of. Now I have actual plastic clippers, so it probably won't happen. But what if it does? And because of that, there's... Dude, I got Sahalanthropus from Metal Gear Solid Five, A collector's edition. That thing was hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I'm never putting that together. I can talk all I want about putting it together. I know in the back of my head I'm never going to have the confidence to take those bits of plastics out and cut them out and put them together because it it's you just gotta not care you you want to know why because the resale value is like zero yeah but that's not i don't care about it for that i care about it the sale value like what i did sell you know Um, (laughs) like what they did i got i got two comments i have to make one definitely title this uh this cast monument to our sins very good yeah Yeah, no problem there i agree and and two I blame you, each and every one of you guys, for <laughs> like you? this being wasted money because I'm like the only one that would play, and everyone else wouldn't. Well, I literally threw both my armies out, which was stupid. <laughs> nah, it was but... good. No, no, it wasn't, Anthony. It was, it was a step well, towards purity. For this to be you could have, you could have threw it in my closet. And it just would have been another monument to my sins. Further, well, it would the be monument. a monument to my sins in your house. But uh, God, I would loan so you many, my sin. so many. Like I would play, I would play anything. Like fuck, we got new Infinity. I got Infinity models. Yeah, I have Infinity models. I still have my Infinity models. 
It's just, God, I got all the extra is probably shit. broken. Oh yeah, it's fucking fucked up. But I blame Sean for that because <laughs> Sean gave it to me in a big box and it was all messed up in the box. Like he just tossed it all in the box. Um but that being said, like, dude, I got all the shit, dude. I got the fucking the camo markers. I got the objective markers. I was like psyched, and and then the game's awesome. And then you know, they fucked Brandon's army, so Brandon doesn't even want to look at Infinity. And, that I uh, do think. Well, I, that's that's silly on two fronts because not to not to badmouth Brandon, but I think like we we will totally just let him play it. Like we don't give a shit, but he just won't. He doesn't and... want to not play with the rules. He's a but, rules no, guy. No, but the rules still exist. Like, the only thing that is... The only really thing that we is... got a house is that, hey, you can just, like, use uh, JSA models yeah, in your Yujing army. Just pick your units. You could still use the same prices. It doesn't matter. Yeah, use the same rules, same prices. It's just hey, take and even, this. And even lore wise, there's no reason that they can't work together sometimes. Like, so it's like it's not even that. Uh, but he just won't. Uh, and again, uh, I kind of understand it. And then the other thing is, it's retarded for that company to have done that because because they did it even when JSA didn't have nearly the support. So it was like, let's just remove tools from a strong faction to create this completely worthless faction. Like, now it has some support, so it's not so bad, but at first, it's like, I have no idea what the hell they were thinking. Brandon's been fucked on every tabletop game that we've played, and it's incredible, because, like, from the very beginning, when we all got our sets, which Matt was very nice to bankroll, like, he got us all a starter set, we also made our own purchases, and I will never forget... When Brandon bought a Carnifex, because the only experience <laughs> me and Brandon had was we played Dawn of War, and then we read lore, and I can't remember how we stumbled across like Tyranids and Carnifexes because they weren't really in the games at that point. But he, it, the Carnifex was cool, and so he bought it, and there was like kind of the champion of our local game store, and everyone was like, ask him for advice. Um, and he was like, yeah, dude, I've just gone to Tyranids. This is really cool. Um, and he's like, oh, did you have anything besides the starter set? And he's like, yeah, I got this Carnifex because they're awesome. And then he just looked them in the eyes and they're like, they're worthless. <laughs> <laughs> because they had just been completely replaced by the, like, the Tyragon or whatever it was. The, the, Trigon. the Trigon. The Trigon, thank you. God, and... the only the only people I remember from that gaming store because I didn't go much. I, I remember like wasn't there a guy Bill who was like mad yes. in the Eldar, and then wasn't there a dude Hopper? Hopper was the really good guy. Bill was the old guy, and I don't remember his name, but there was that one dude that wore a collar and was clearly a furry. I don't know. All I know is Bill was an old dude who played Eldar, and then there was Hopper. Yeah. Shout outs to Bill and Hopper wherever you are because that game store doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> Rip. I mean I don't know. Yeah. Brando has had bad luck in picking armies in any tabletop like we Dude, do. Even even when he finally switched what? he spent that money, switched to Dark Eldar, and like the next edition was everything has ignores cover. Like it yeah, was like was the bad. worst. <laughs> But rules now, like, it's not that bad. No one wants to play, Rich. No, I wouldn't no, say that. You don't want to play, fuckface. I don't want to play. Hey, hey. That, and the you... only reason why is because the two armies I liked, um, I like Tau and Imperial Guard. I had this conversation with uh, And you Rob. threw him in the trash. Well, one, They're I threw him in the trash. Anymore, but let's pretend. That Did you throw all your IG in the trash? Yeah, I threw every little... The You're only a thing... son of Bitch, you I know that because kept... I got you some of those tanks. Okay. You son of a bitch. Everyone yeah, got me all of those models. It has nothing yeah. to do with the individual yeah, models. It was I was done with the hobby. You know, don't take it personal, bro. But regardless, regardless, we got Infinity, but no one plays that shit. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Uh, for me, what's keeping me from getting back into 40k is Tau suck. Um, which what? Uh, I was comfortable 
with them. Okay, look, they suck because I'm not a power gamer, and I actually like units like Crisis Suits and Fire Warriors, and they're trash now. Um, I'm not going to buy eight Riptides and uh, whatever the crazy one that costs as much as a car is. I'm just not going to do that. Oh, the, 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 what is it? The, the fucking Storm Surge or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to do that shit because that's not how I want to play the game. Listen, um, I'll admit 40k is not the game it used to be, but I like I would play something. Like then, I stare at models and it's like And then the problem with Imperial Guard is like like they were in a far more playable state at least with the per if with what I had and what potential purchases I would like to make um assuming I still had my army. Um but with the way that uh, sectorals use and command points use, um, Imperial Guard is a nightmare to play because you have to memorize like 8,000 rules because you there is war gear that gives you more command points and every unit has like a specific command point use and, yeah, it's crazy. and you have to make command point farms. For, I don't... I, I, the, the amount of spreadsheets I already had in that game <laughs> just because of like when we got out of it what was that sixth seventh ish where it was like you had to remember like these four books and then also the force org shit which i can't remember what that was called where you took certain units and they would just get battalion. a special rule battalion i believe yeah was that battalion sure yeah fine. but yeah it's like all, already i was spreadsheeting on that and now this would be another level where it's like not only do i have to know what units do i have to know what they could potentially do if a point was spent and it's i don't i don't you know want, the title is making more, do more sense as we keep talking monument yeah, yeah monument, monument to our to sins, our sins. listen i have, have... I've, I've accepted that no one accepts like john will ever play any form of 40k with me ever again then go to john it's not gonna happen <laughs> he just <laughs> refused and, uh, to drive there i do <laughs> the, it's the, the feud still stands <laughs> i will not drive out to jersey <laughs> um no hatred to our jersey fans no nah. yeah, no 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 hatred towards our jersey fans. i hate your state. i refuse You're okay I refuse just to drive to Jersey. Um, but fuck, dude, there's like zero reason why we couldn't like play some Infinity at some point. I mean, now That's we can't true. because you know the outbreak, the pandemic. But like, shit, like we could if we wanted to definitely play some Infinity. Infinity didn't even games didn't even take that long. Like our big dumb like rule breaking free for alls did. But we don't right. have to play that way. Yeah, that's true. I think I'm uh, I, I I'm down with playing more Infinity. I have to. I think I have to put together some models. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I actually had some form of storage going on with those, so they're probably not all shattered to pieces. My mine are like good. I mean, the, some of them are like broke, and I'd have to fix up. <laughs> But Metal Glue is such a pain in the ass. It's the one thing I yeah. about Infinity. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but whatever. Like, the models for Infinity are so cool. I like the aesthetic a lot. Yeah. Cyberpunk, bro. Much cleaner. That's why, that's why I played Pano, dude. Pano's got all the power armor and shit. And that with, like, the, the religious feel, like the Christian father knights. And it was just a very cool army to play i like the i like the hawk islam a lot especially that one sectorial where you could get some you could get the iguana from the nomads it was awesome such a good blend of units the iguana is like uh one of the coolest freaking models in that game and it's probably one of the only uh what were those called tags yeah, it was probably one of the only tags that, like, when the pilot came out, they were actually useful because they still had an HMP. a tag in a tag. Mm -hmm. Sick, dope. Fuck dude, my it. favorite, my favorite was like the Pano Cutter, dude. Like yeah, a tag with, with to camo and a heavy machine gun. 
Like this shit was awesome. Like Peno had a lot of cool shit. I felt very weak in the hack game and the counter hack game, but that's just a weakness of the army. You know, it has to be there. They can't be good at everything, you know? Yeah, that's literally what it's designed for. But, uh... The shooting yeah, was very good. Yeah, trying to outshoot you guys it was a fool's errand. You had better armor and better optics to actually hit things. Yeah, Pano's kind of nuts in the shooting game. Like, you have things like, like, Nisei's. Uh, that are ridiculous you have a i believe actually i looked at the rules very recently i think they buffed mimetism too oh jesus which is like i, I think it's like a what was it, mimetism it used to be like um what a minus three to be hit now i think it's like a minus six it's like basically to camo without the camo it's it's a little stupid it should be noted that, yeah, even this, since it's been so long since we've freaking played, uh, what was it, uh, we were in three, weren't we? And now it's going to, like, four or five? Uh, yeah, I think we were in N3. I don't think it's in five. I think it's only in four. But I could be wrong. Um, maybe, maybe five. I don't know. But, uh... We don't yeah, know what edition so, it's in. That's how long it's been since we've played. Yeah. So, Nisei's got even better, and they're already like a staple unit in Pano. Uh, like, Aquila Guard are fantastic. The Swiss Guard were awesome. The tags were incredible. Pano is just cool. I like Pano a lot. Again, I think the, uh, the main death keel, less than our, like, will to play... Uh, versus anything else, because uh, again, we I I don't think any of us really have much of anything against Infinity, um, and even certain elements of 40k. Like uh, we just complained about it for a bunch, but you know, the, there's also elements that are good. Uh, but it's like we got into Magic, and it is so much cheaper to get a deck to have a completely new, fresh play style and to sit down, take out a deck, and just play, as opposed to all those games that it's... Yeah. It's, it's hard. Um, but now, it's like, I'm done with Magic. Not like, I'll never play it again, but like, I'm not gonna ever spend money again on Magic. Like, I'm done with buying Magic. I don't know. It all depends on how stuff comes unless out. Unless Games Workshop is like, totally listens to this podcast and does a, a complete overhaul of Apes. <laughs> Or Samurai. Games Workshop? Or Samurai. Sorry, did I say Games Workshop? Yes. I mean, Wizards of the Coast. Sorry, I got Warhammer. Games Workshop, too. Brand. Bring back Jokiro. <laughs> <laughs> Make him an army. <laughs> samurai or apes. Or crush two birds in one stone and make samurai apes. There you go. Apes with Bushido. Oh, <laughs> apes God. with Bushido. I would, I would buy that. 100%. I know you would. Okay, so here here comes the real problem. We're very small. Very few people watch us. If, by some miracle, in the next set there is a Bushido ape, we have to sit down and stare at each other and go, was that a random coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> or, or are we getting listened to or by Wizards of the Coast? To, right? One of our viewers is someone from Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> One of our, like, ten people who watch this. Listen, right, yeah. listen, I wouldn't put it past Wizards of the Coast. I mean, they let Matt Mercer make content. Why can't we make content? 